This video is about Lucerne, Switzerland. If you're watching this video on Facebook, you can share it. What will help me most is subscribing to my YouTube channel. Lucerne is a city in central Switzerland. Great views of the Alps, of a lake, and it has a wonderful medieval old town. It dates back to 1750 when a monastery was founded near the original village. It was dedicated to St. Leogard. It became a town in the 12th century and joined the Old Swiss Confederacy in 1332. By the end of the 14th century, the town had grown to over 1,300 inhabitants. This is the Chapel Bridge. It is the oldest timber bridge in Europe and the second longest at nearly 205 meters. It was originally built in 1365. It crosses the Rus River, linking the old town to the new town section. Unfortunately, on August 18th, 1993, there was a fire that destroyed more than half the bridge, which has now been rebuilt. In the middle of the bridge, there is a tower, which actually predated the bridge this tower was built around 1300. It's been used as a lookout post, a prison, a torture chamber. Archives have been staved here. And originally, it was part of the defensive walls of the town. This tower stands at 34 meters tall. A second covered bridge in Lucerne is the Spewer Bridge. It was built around 1408. It's 81 meters long. It was originally used by the mills to dump leaves and chaff onto the river so the waste of the mills would be swept downriver. It was destroyed by a flood in 1566 and then quickly rebuilt. There's a small chapel on this bridge that dates to 1568. And as you walk through the bridge, you look up in the rafters, you will see paintings of the 67 original paintings, 45 still exist, and they date from 1625 to 1635. The last renovation of this bridge was in 1889. One of the tourist destinations in Lucerne is the Old Town Wall. It's also referred to as the Museg Wall. It has nine towers, it was built around 1370 to 1420. The wall is nine meters tall and up to two meters thick in some areas. In some sections, you can walk across the top of the wall. The wall is 870 meters long. Originally, it was 40 meters longer, which was in the east, but this section and the Weges Gate were pulled down in 1860 to make way for the town's expansion. The first tower, which is near the river, was built around 1516. It stands at 28 meters tall, and the opening for the road was built in 1901. The second tower, which is 33 meters tall, is open to the public, where you can go all the way to the top and have great views of the city. The third tower, was built around 1370. It's the tallest tower at nearly 53 meters. It was used for a watchtower for both protection and for fires. The fourth tower was used for storage and it had stored many things including hay and gunpowder. In 1701, it was struck by lightning which caused an explosion and even five deaths. It was rebuilt to be 44 meters tall. The fifth tower is the clock tower. It is 31 meters tall. It's open to the public and has a collection of old clock towers from around Switzerland. It was built in 1403. The clock on this tower dates from 1535. It could be seen as far as the fishermen on the lake and it chimes one minute before all the other town clocks. The sixth tower, this one dates to 1420, and it's just under 28 meters tall. 
This is where there's a town gate, and this too is open to the public. The Sixth Tower, named for storing gunpowder, was built around 1400. Half the gunpowder was stored in this tower. There's little known about the origins of all the towers, but the Eighth Tower, its roof dates to the 1540s, and the Ninth Tower is the smallest tower, its roof dates to 1449. This is St. Leodegar's Church. It was built around 1633. It was built in the same location of a 9th century church, which was destroyed. And the last tourist destination in Lucerne that I'll be sharing in this video is the Lion Monument. This was built in 1820, and it was created to remember the 600 Swiss guards who were murdered in the French Revolution in 1792. This monument is visited by 1.4 million tourists a year. Lucerne is a picturesque town worth visiting, especially if you're in Switzerland for a few days. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.